welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you guys two of my favorite go-to vinaigrette dressings that I use all the time. I really love making my own dressings because I don't know about you guys but I usually or I have in the past bought dressings and kept them in the fridge and they've gone bad. It's just easier to make them at home. You control what ingredients you put into them. A lot of times store-bought dressings will have a lot of those high inflammatory um, oils and unnecessary sugars and different things added. So not only is making your own dressing healthier for you but it is cheaper because you control how much you're making at one time um, for example you could make a large batch and keep it in like a large jar in your refrigerator to use if you know that you're gonna be using it throughout the week for multiple meals or you could always put it in like a little jar um, which is perfect for those who need a dressing to go with the salad if you're grabbing it for lunch or something like that so having little jars or something to store it in is going to keep it fresh most of the time when I'm fixing these dressings, I'm just making them for that meal that we're having. So in this video, I'm just going to be using, this is just spinach. Um, you could use whatever greens you have. This is just what we have in our fridge. So I'm just going to make a little side salad. Nothing in there but the spinach. You could add whatever vegetables, but honestly, the flavors of the vinaigrettes just go so well. Um, with just the greens that you really don't need much. So I'll go ahead and get started and show you guys um, what ingredients that I'm going to be using for these dressings. So for both of the dressings, I'm going to be using some extra virgin olive oil. Um, that is going to be the base for both of them. I have two separate vinegars. So this is just balsamic vinegar. And then I have some apple cider vinegar. So those are the two vinegars I'm going to be using. For the balsamic dressing, I'm actually going to be using a little Dijon mustard. So the Dijon mustard, um, the reason I add that to the dressing, Dijon mustard is going to be the emulsifying agent for the dressing. So what that means is an emulsifying agent usually holds two liquids together that usually are unstable, so like um, oil and vinegar. Um, so using like the Dijon mustard really helps keep those oils and the vinegar stable and it just mixes them really well and it tastes delicious. So using Dijon mustard for the balsamic dressing. For my seasonings, I have just some ground pepper and some kosher salt. And then I have some garlic powder. And then this is just an Italian seasoning blend. Also, I'm gonna be using some lemon juice for one of the recipes. So I already cut a lemon in half. I also like to mix my dressing in just like a little measuring cup. It just makes it easier to pour it out. And then I just use a whisk to whisk it all together and make sure that it blends well. Let's get started and I'll go ahead and show you guys the two types of dressings I'm gonna be making. Okay, the first vinaigrette I'm gonna be showing you guys is the balsamic Dijon mustard vinaigrette. So first off, I'm just gonna start with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. I don't really <laughs> measure anything. I am making just a small little batch for this video purpose because we are not gonna eat a whole lot of this dressing, but I just have a little bit of some olive oil. And then next I'm gonna add a little dash of some balsamic vinegar. A little bit goes a long way with balsamic vinegar, so I just put a little splash in there. And then next up, I'm going to shake out my mustard and pour just a little dab of Dijon in there. And again, adding this to the vinaigrette, which I'll show you guys, will help mix it up really well. And then I'm just gonna throw a little bit of kosher salt in there a little bit of black pepper and then just a little sprinkle of some garlic powder so once i get that in there i'm just going to whisk it up so you can see that it is blended together it's not separating like it normally would so having that 
mustard in there really helps keep it all together. Then you could either, depending on how much you made, I know I made just a little bit of a tasting, but you could pour it in one of the jars. Um, you could put it in like one of the little small ones and save it for later or you could put it in a big one if you made a big batch, but it tastes delicious. Just pour it over some spinach, like I said. The other dressing that I'm gonna show you guys is a lemon vinaigrette. So I really like this style of dressing if you're making like any kind of Greek flavored, um, meal. It goes great with like a Greek salad with some feta cheese and olives. You could also use this as like a marinade for chicken or fish. So really flavorful and super easy to make. And I'm just using some extra virgin olive oil for the base. So a little bit of that. And then for my vinegar for this dressing, I'm going to use some apple cider vinegar. Again, a little goes a long way, so I'm just using a splash of that. I have a half of a lemon, so I'm just going to squeeze that into the oil and the vinegar. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, some pepper, and then a little bit of Italian seasoning. And again, you just want to mix that together well. And there is the lemon vinaigrette. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and will try these dressings at home in your own kitchen. But if you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!